Feliz Cinco de Mayo a todos. From your nine news friends, happy Cinco de Mayo. Here we go. El tiempo pasa y no te puedo I think a, a big part of what I've had to conquer has been stepping outside of my comfort zone. And you have those people that are naysayers that say that you can't do it. And, you know, you're in a, ni a niña, you know, from... De la baja, you know, you're not gonna make it. And in me, that would spark a fire that would say, I'm gonna prove you wrong. My name is Belen de Leon. Soy Mexicana, soy Americana. I'm American, but I'm Mexican. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Belen, there you go. <laughs> I grew up uh, in South Texas. I had an affinity for music since I was a little girl. And I love to sing, I love to perform, I just love to make people happy. And right out of high school, I was able to join this musical group, La Onda. I grew up speaking this form of Spanish that was very Tex-Mex, so it wasn't correct at all. Everything that we were going to do from now on was going to be on these major television networks that transmitted to all of these Latin American countries. And if you didn't know how to speak correct Spanish, then basically you're a fraud. <laughs> so with another obstacle in the way, I need to learn how to speak this language correctly. Hablaba muy pocha. And <laughs> mis amigos se burlaban de mí. They, they'd mock me. And then they would correct me. They'd make fun of me first, and then they'd correct me, and I'd be like, Oh, okay, ya no lo voy a decir así. <laughs> and then I'd, I'd say it correctly. This was my first album, several months away from my parents. I was 18. The thing is that when, when I started in the group, I was, I was very young. I hadn't experienced a lot of things. I would always think about, I wouldn't want to do anything that would embarrass my parents. And, and when I was missing out so much time from being with my family, then I stopped liking it. And I'm like, what am I doing this for? After I got out of the music business, I dabbled in television because now I had the experience of being in front of a camera. They asked me to do the weather. I was the first person in my market in South Texas to be on this Fox station giving the weather in English and then you know, turning the channel and you could see me on Univision doing the weather in Spanish. So it was a big challenge for me, but at the same time being bilingual and knowing how to do both of them correctly was a huge advantage for me. This is Nine News. With me now is Joanne Cortez. I don't know about this. This is too much spice for Nine News. <laughs> this Latina right here. Now, you guys are really geared up for the grand opening today. Isn't that right? We are. And when I came to Denver, um, and I, I started working at Nine News, and there weren't very many people like me. But I can sprinkle my culture into my stories, into my forecast, or just random words in Spanish. But you know, it's something that, that some people were not ready to accept. I get all sorts of, of nasty emails and, and racist comments about how I uh, needed to just go back to Mexico and how I had a horrible accent and I was so annoying and it's another one of those things where you, you can't tell me what I can't do because right. I'm gonna prove you wrong. <laughs>